The Smudge tool is one of the most underrated tools in Photoshop. What it does is pretty simple. It simulates a brush smearing wet paint, softening and blending every pixel of the image. Well, today I'm gonna show you my top five creative ways to use the Smudge tool. Number five, smoothen any surface. Because of the way the Smudge tool works, it is perfect to make texture more soft and remove grain in a natural way. Let's try smoothening the skin on this girl's face. As you can see, because of the low quality of the photo, the skin has a bit of noise, chromatic aberration, and some strange artifacts. We can fix all those imperfections using the Smudge tool. First, let's duplicate our layer, and with the Smudge tool selected, let's pick a big and soft brush and set the strength to 80%. Now, we click and simply move our cursor back and forth. Remember to keep it in a very small zone. This will blur the area and nicely blend all the colors together. The more we do it, the more smooth the result. And we can do this for every area of our image, like the teeth or the eyes or even the jacket. Number four, directional blur. In this example, we have some rocks flying away from our character, but they look a little bit too static. If we want to make them look like they're moving really fast, we can add some motion blur. And a simple way to do that is to go to filter, blur, motion blur. But with this filter, there are some limitation. We can only decide one single direction and one level of strength for all the rocks. Instead, we want the rocks to fly away from the character and go at different speeds. So let's try to recreate exactly that using the Smudge tool. Let's click on one of the rock and move it in the direction that we want the blur to go. As you can see, this method is much faster and gives us full control over the direction and amount of blur. Also, it allows us to apply the blur exactly where we need it and not necessarily on the entire rock, so we can have some parts that stay in focus. Number three, smudge brushes. We used to think of the smudge tool like a finger that goes over some paint and softly moves all the colors, but in Photoshop, we're not limited to basic round brush and simply changing the brush we're using can create some very interesting results. To access the pre-installed brush, let's click here on the top left. We have several folders of brushes. And if we open the special effect brushes, for example, we can see that some of the brushes have a little icon on the right side. That means that the brush is designed to be used with a specific tool. In this case, we want to use the brush for the smudge tool. So let's select this one and see what happens. The smudge tool reacts way differently than before. It keeps moving the colors, but this time it does it creating some interesting textures. This can be used to smooth clouds or smoke, for example. Number two, refine masks. Like any other tool, the smudge tool can be not only used on layers, but also on layer masks. Let me show you what we can do. In this example, we have this flying head that is isolated with a mask. As you can see, the mask isn't really perfect. There are a few blue borders around the neck and the ear. And this is because the mask isn't very precise. We can quickly fix those small mistakes with the smudge tool. Make sure that the mask is selected from the layer panel and slowly push in the edges of the mask. And with a couple of clicks, we fix the issue. Another problem I notice here is that the edges of the masks are very sharp all around. Well, it would be nice to soften them up a little on some areas to make it integrate more nicely. Again, we can do that with the smudge tool, adjusting slightly the edges where needed. Number one, creative typography. This is an absolute game changer. See this beautiful, colorful 3D text? Well, it might surprise you, but this is done entirely in Photoshop using only the smudge tool and took just a few seconds to make. Let me show you exactly how. Let's start with this colorful image here. I'll leave the link to this image in the description below. Now let's create a new layer on top, select the smudge tool, and now there are some settings we need to change. Let's select a round brush with 100% hardness, set the strength to 100%, and check sample all layers. And now we simply click and drag. As you can see, we're creating these beautiful 3D strings that are completely isolated. And depending on where we start drawing, we get different results. Now, instead of painting randomly, let's try something and have some fun with it. These are my top five creative ways to use the smudge tool in Photoshop. If you like this video, leave us a like and let us know in the comments below what you use the smudge tool for. Thank you for joining the dojo.